The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the people that love to put Disney characters in fetish gear, comes yet another half step in a franchise dragging its feet as hard as it possibly can before its third full entry, Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Really? 2.8? This is just getting excessive. Return to the endlessly interactive world of Kingdom Hearts and experience the feeling of being shafted all over again as Square slaps together a bunch of underperforming handheld games and HD remasters and sells them to you again at the price of a full game. Because they know that you are so thirsty for anything Kingdom Hearts that you'll end up buying it anyway. Experience the world salad that is the final chapter prequel as Square frantically attempts to make all the Kingdom Hearts games make sense together. By pasting a 40-minute cutscene alongside an HD remix of a 3DS game from 2012 and a glorified demo of the new game's engine, and hoping it will tide you over a little longer until they finally cancel Kingdom Hearts 3. I mean, come on, stop messing around and give us three already. I've had blue balls for an entire decade. Dive in to the most mediocre of the three experiences Point 8 has to offer. Back Cover, a cinematic prelude to the Keyblade Wars, an awesome sounding conflict that you don't even get to see, and that seems to exist for the sole purpose of reminding you that they have a mobile game. Then check out Dream Drop Distance, an adorably titled 3DS game that puts you through the same familiar formula except does what all games do when they run out of ideas by adding parkour or turning it into Pokemon. In this case, both. Then crack open the final and actual new video game portion of 2.8, Kingdom Hearts, a fragmentary passage, and marvel at how amazing everything looks with the new KH3 engine with stunning environments, smooth cinematic combat, and things constantly exploding into fireworks, then reel in horror as you realize it's only two hours long. But uh, look, you can make your character into a robot cat girl ninja. That justifies my purchase, right? Watch as 2.8 desperately tries to fill in the massive holes in the rich tapestry that is Kingdom Hearts plot. By filling it with a whole lot more nonsense that I'm gonna try to go through really quickly. Okay, here it goes. <sighs> So back covers about these five masters trying to find a traitor that will eventually spark the Keyblade Wars, which apparently they knew was going to happen anyway. Then fast forward to Dream Drop Distance, where Riku and Sora drop into the dreams of the sleeping worlds from the first game, then confront a time-traveling Xehanort, which is apparently a thing now, as he tries to steal Sora and turn him into one of the 13 clones of darkness, and we learn Xehanort's master plan of trying to form the Keyblade with an X by abducting the hearts of the seven princesses of light with his 13 clones of darkness that can only be defeated by the seven Keyblade wielders. Then join one of those Keyblade wielders, Aqua, as she wanders trapped in the world of darkness, chasing after the shadow of her friends and defeating the darkness in herself, then find out she plays a major part in the end of the first game and the whole thing turns into a Mickey confessional as it jumps right into the start of the third game as Riku and Mickey set out to find Aqua while Sora and friends try to discover the literal power of being woke. Look, the plot is just way too sophisticated for you to understand, okay? It's actually really good. So put on those cat ears and get ready to fork over that money for a demo of the prequel of a game because for all there is to complain about, at least there's always that Fire Utada Hikaru song to come back to. Ooh, it's a remix this time. Starring The Essence of Wetness, Clown Shoes, Dolan, Pants Dog, Clearly the Top, Ginger Goth that's not named Axel anymore, Original Gangsta, Furry Convention, yeah, I know, it's Disney backwards, and Xehanort and Xehanort and Xehanort and Xehanort and Xehanort and Xehanort. Cash for Hearts 2.8 You know, this is only funny until we end up getting 2.95 Final Final Mix. Boy got to eat. He got to have his supper. Let's get down to brass tacks. How much for the ape? Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. I don't think you realize just who you're dealing with. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it.